Hi, my name is John Sheasley, and I'm going to talk to you about growing raspberries in a home garden setting here in Colorado. When deciding to put raspberries in the home landscape, you must first decide if you want red or golden raspberries. I grew up in the suburbs of Denver, Colorado, and in our backyard we had two patches of red raspberries and one patch of golden raspberries. The goldens were always my favorite, as they are sweeter and less tart than the reds, but they are not as good for making jams and jellies. You can see red raspberries in image 5, and golden raspberries in image 4. Once you have decided on the color of berry you wish to grow, you must decide on which type of raspberry you want. Primacane raspberries, which produce fruit on the first year cane in the fall, Floricane raspberries, which produce fruit on the second year woody cane in the midsummer, or ever-bearing raspberries, which produce fruit on the first year canes in the fall on the top third of the cane, and then produce a second crop the following spring on the bottom two-thirds of the same cane. Ever-bearing cane should be cut back after the spring harvest. Any type of raspberry will require trellising to keep the canes from falling over. Posts on the corners of a small raspberry patch, with twine stretched between them, as shown in image 1, work quite well. If the posts are high enough, they can support netting, which will keep birds from eating the raspberries as they ripen, which can be a major concern here in Colorado. Garden soil must be well-drained, and should have lots of organic matter. The soil should have a pH of 5.6 to 6.2, and if it is higher than this, you should use sphagnum peat to add organic matter, as it will help lower the soil pH. A balanced fertilizer should be applied once a year to help maintain the plants. Raspberries should be grown in full sun, preferably on a south-facing area. They should be planted in the early spring by burying a live root bundle with the crown about 1 to 2 inches below the surface and the plants spaced 2 to 3 feet apart. If you want to grow golden raspberries, I would recommend the cultivar Fall Gold. It is an ever-bearing cultivar and very sweet with great flavor. It is cold hardy down to negative 25 degrees Fahrenheit and is recommended for hardiness zones 3 through 9. If you prefer red raspberries, I recommend the cultivar Heritage. It is also cold hardy to negative 25 degrees Fahrenheit and is ever-bearing. This cultivar is susceptible to verticillin wilt and should not be planted near tomatoes, potatoes, eggplant, or peppers, or grown where they have been recently. In fact, raspberries are susceptible to many pathogens and diseases, but most can be controlled by removing debris from the base of the plants and by keeping them well pruned. The raspberry cane borer and raspberry crown borer, as well as spider wing dystrophila and spider mites, are major pests of the raspberry plant. A 2% application of horticulture oil can help control spider mites, and canes that are infested by borers should be removed and burned immediately. You can see an adult cane borer in image 3 and a larva in image 2. I hope to have inspired you to grow raspberries in your garden, and I have included links to a few good resources below the video.